The most important thing a man can take into combat is a reason why. When the plan falls apart, improvise, adapt, and overcome. It is not the strongest of the species that survives, nor the most intelligent. It is the one that is the most adaptable to change. The guys who win at anything that they do, whether it's a social situation, making music, making money, the guys who end up winning are the ones who are the best at adapting to change. And the best way to train your adaptability involves doing two simple things. These two things are changing your thought process and forcing yourself to take risks. Let's make this fun, right? Let's, let's have some fun with this. I don't want it to get ugly. If it gets ugly, mm, talk about awakening the dragon. Ultra fast kill streaks. 
I know you like this. The Canis is such a beast. Oh my god. And I thought the NC had the best SMGs because of the Cyclone. The Canis has a huge magazine by default. High damage, no bullet drop. I mean like damn! I wanted to share some uh, some of this recent gameplay with some thoughts because I find it really epic. This is the first gun that really makes me appreciate the Vanu weaponry. With other weapons it's hard to appreciate the no bullet drop uh, mechanic that is specific to the Vanu weapons. And with an SMG like the Canis it's extremely useful to keep your accuracy at range. On top of that I'm running the suppressor so I have a silent gun and it shreds people at close range and you can still hit at long range no problem. It hits like a BB gun, but you can hit. So you're like a powerhouse up close and a support weapon at long range. In comparison, the Cyclone with the Suppressor has massive bullet drop, which makes it hard to use at range, like 30 meters and beyond. And it's not the case with the Canis, because the bullets don't drop. Pew pew! Laser! That's why I love this gun. And I don't need extended mags, it already has 40 rounds in the magazine by default. So I run advanced laser sight. So it's like a laser cannon, literally. It makes the hip fire super accurate. So I just keep running, spraying at people, keeping my crosshair at the head level. And I freaking love this playstyle, ultra fast. Also we have a large ammo pool by default, so it frees up my suit slot. So I run nano weave armor or adrenaline pump according to the situation. On my NC character with the same loadout, I usually run ammo pouch. So yeah, this loadout is the real predator. I didn't want to use the suppressor at first, because I always appreciate more bullet speed, especially with SMGs. But then I noticed that the Canis, unsuppressed, attracts a lot of attention. People immediately know that there is a Vanu infiltrator in the area, and they start chasing you down. So I started using the suppressor, and I can stay much more stealthy, I noticed. I can chain up kills without anyone noticing, so satisfying. So I use the nano armor cloaking to be more tanky when I escape. Sensor shield implant to always be off the radar. Assimilate implant to vampirize my enemies. It's very easy to chain headshots at close range with that hipfire cone. The underboss as the secondary. I finally started using this gun and now I understand why it's so popular. You can almost insta kill people with two headshots or one headshot, one knife swing. It's very effective. And finally recon darts to stay mobile while I hunt my targets. The game feels great lately, even though I didn't post much, it's just that I'm very busy with other projects. I really appreciate the video content coming from the community lately. I really feel like we have some epic talent in the Planet 2 community. Like Flashy's 3D animations with the Planet 2 assets are so well done with the lighting and the animations. Just mind-blowing work, stuff I was dreaming about years ago. It takes a huge amount of work to realize this kind of project, so please support these guys. I also really like Dead Ace's videos lately, especially his intros. He really figured out how to mix voices and music. It sounds super professional, even though he still has a very small channel for now. So yeah, big up Flashy, big up Dead Ace's. Awesome content. Actually changed the layout of my YouTube channel to make it more simple to read. There is like the epic stuff, the cinematic stuff, the funny stuff, the squad leader stuff, the solo stuff. And at the end, there is a playlist called Best of Blindside 2 where I try to share the best videos from the community. We have some amazing content out there. Some stuff is hilarious, some stuff is epic, some stuff is beautiful. So yeah, I hope you like this new layout. Thank you everyone for all the birthday wishes. I'm 33 years old now. It's been an epic journey creating this channel, posting about 500 Planetside 2 videos or Planetside 2 related over eight years. This passion even became my work. Now people in my city are requesting my services to create videos for them. It's really epic and I edit these videos just like I did gaming videos. I found this evolution very interesting and I never saw it coming. So yeah, I started having so much links like my Twitter, my Instagram, the page for my company, the link to my voice pack, heavy damage that's requested a lot, the link to my course, etc. So I started using a website called Tap My Bio where I put all my links in one page and it's much more practical to share with people instead of having to share several links like here's my YouTube, here's my second YouTube, here's my Instagram, here's my Twitter now it's fixed with Tap My Bio so I really appreciate that, I hope you'll check it out right now I'm mostly trying to build my Instagram because I have so much pictures to share that are sitting on my high drive I used to post them on Facebook but I realized that it's not good to keep them in posterity so I started posting them little by little on my Instagram pages check it out if you like arts and girls I'll post there my epic highlights. I also really love to use the Instagram stories. It keeps me sharp, it trains you to talk fast, 
because each story is limited to 15 seconds. So it's like a form of vlogging without all the editing and it feels very liberating sometimes. Some of my vlogs took days to edit. Now I can just record a small video, make it funny somehow and just post it in the stories. And then I keep the highlights in different categories. Love category, troll category, Marrakesh is my city, Cash Lab is my company. I passed 600 students on Skillshare on my course called How to make an epic gaming channel, which makes me really proud. I feel it's really cool to be able to share all these tips that I accumulated over the years. It would have made my life so much easier if I had found these tips out earlier in my journey. This is why actually I decided to share this course for free with the Planetside 2 community. You can find the link in a video called My Contribution to Save Planetside 2. Lately with a friend I had a really disturbing story. I was trying to share my Instagram account with him and he couldn't find me no matter how he wrote my name. He tried to write Mukas and then Mukas1 and then my name Salim Boulali and he couldn't find it and I, I was wondering if I was shadow banned or something because uh, I found it really suspicious that I cannot find myself in the search bar. I know for a fact that some of my playlists are shadow banned like the Cosmic Disclosure playlist that received like 40,000 views in the first two months and now it's stuck at 41,000. A lot of content have been deleted off YouTube, I don't know if you noticed. So yeah, maybe I should just consider myself lucky to still have a YouTube channel. A lot of my favorite content creators have been banned off the platform. So yeah, it's not the same thing with YouTube anymore. It's not a love story anymore. Still, I'm very excited for 2021 and I wish you all an epic new year. Personally, I took advantage of the lockdown to focus on myself, on my health. I went through a heavy metal detox and it, and it changed my life. I sleep so well. I feel so good all the time. And I think I'll start sharing this journey on another channel. Right now I'm just getting ready for 2021. I've recently moved my photo studio and I'm in the process of rebuilding everything in a new place with a new PC with a new better internet to be able to live stream finally someday. Thanks again for all the support so far. Thank you to those who have been following the channel for all these years. For all the people who leave nice comments, for the people who give donations, it's extremely appreciated. And for that I want to keep making my videos more epic each time. This is why actually I don't monetize my videos recently. I just straight up use copyrighted music. I use the music I want and I don't care if it's copyrighted. So like my last four videos are all demonetized. They bring me zero money. I make them just out of love for the epicness. This is in my opinion how you enter history, not by playing it safe. I like to play it epic. That's it guys, have an amazing new year. Thanks again RPG for the epic game. Farewell Andy Sites. I really appreciate the membership. Have a good day, stay epic, bye bye. Kansas anymore. The game I saw, I kicked ass. What a sharpshooter. Double the kill. Triple kill.